Hi everyone, today we are going to look at another organism, Chlamydia. Chlamydia exists in two interchangeable forms, elementary body and reticular body. It is an obligate intracellular bacteria, that means it prefers to exist within host cells. Chlamydia cannot make its own ATP and is known as an energy parasite. Chlamydia has a cell wall made of modified peptidoglycan which lacks muramic acid. To help us understand the difference between elementary body and reticular body, let us look at the life cycle of chlamydia. The elementary body has the proteins required to bind to the host cells where it attaches. This elementary body then enters the cell through an inclusion. Inside this vesicle, the elementary body changes into the reticular form. Here, it replicates and starts to reorganize back into elementary body. Cell lysis causes them to spill out where they then go and infect other cells. Elementary body is small in size as compared to the larger reticular body. Elementary body exists extracellularly and is the infective form of the organism. Reticular body is found intracellularly and is the replicating form. To replicate, the reticular body naturally has to be metabolically active, while the elementary body is metabolically inactive. Since the reticular body exists intracellularly, it has a fragile cell wall while the elementary body has a rigid cell wall so it can survive until it finds another host cell to infect. Chlamydia trachomatis is a sexually transmitted disease. In males, it is characterized by painful ejaculation, burning while urination and testicular swelling. In females, it shows vaginal bleeding, a natural discharge and burning while urination. Both sexes experience painful intercourse, pelvic inflammatory disease, urethritis and infertility. The serotypes involved are D to K which is an easy mnemonic to remember if you just fill in two alphabets. In case of a mother carrying the infection, it can be transmitted to the child during the delivery. It causes inclusion blenoria which is the secretion of large quantities of mucus that eventually infect the child. It can cause conjunctivitis and pneumonia in the newborn. Complications of this disease can easily be remembered by the mnemonic FUR, where F is for Fitzhugh Curtis syndrome, characterized by perihepatitis or inflammation of the peritoneal coating of the liver. This commonly affects females. U is for urethral syndrome, which also affects females and is characterized by discomfort during urination, pyuria, and urethritis. R is for Reiter's syndrome, which is a characterized by conjunctivitis, urethritis, and polyarthritis, easy to remember by the mnemonic CUP, and it affects only males. Trachoma is an other form of chlamydia infection. Its serotypes are A, B and C which will help you remember all its important features. C is for chronic conjunctivitis where the follicles get infected leading to interning of the eyelashes which causes corneal scarring. Repeated damage to the cornea leads to B for blindness. Trachoma is the leading cause of preventable infectious blindness. This condition is mostly found in A for Africa. This disease is sometimes spread by flies and is also called swimming pool conjunctivitis. Another form of chlamydia is LGV or lymphogranuloma virinium. It is an invasive STD characterized by painless ulcers and painful lymph nodes. The enlarged inguinal lymph nodes are called bubo found only in males. In females, esthiomone or elephantiasis of the vulva is seen. The skin gets stretched over these swellings and becomes thin, leading to a positive free test. Serotypes L, 1, 2 and 3 are associated with this form of infection. 
easy to remember because they also start with L. For the diagnosis of chlamydia, it is important to remember that gram staining reveals no bacteria. Neutrophils are present, indicating pyuria. This is a common question that can be asked in the form of MCQs. Chlamydia cannot be cultured on inert media because it is an intracellular organism. For the treatment, we use azithromycin, erythromycin, doxycycline and tetracycline. I hope this video helps you recollect all the characteristics of chlamydia. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel.